conditions of the families and the order. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with you. your spirit. May bless the Lord through the Son of God. <clears throat> Steer up your, your mighty and power, Lord, Lord. Come, come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who who lead Joseph's love. Shine forth from your cherubim throne. O Lord, rouse up your mind. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine in us, and we shall be saved. Lord, God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's feet? We have fed them with tears for their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the throne of our nations. Our enemies have us to seek more. God of hosts, bring us back. Let our face shine in us, and we shall be saved. You brought a wine out of Egypt, the plan it should drop out the nations. Before it could carry the ground, it took roots and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with shadow. The cedars of God in its flows, it spreads out its branches to the sea, to the great river it spreads out its shoots. Then why you have broken down its walls, it is struck by all who pass by, it is ravaged by the war from the sword, devoured by the beasts of the hill. The God of the Lord will again be implored to look down from heaven and see. Visit his vine and protect it. The vine the right hand has planted. Men have worked it in fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen and the man you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. He must die that we go all and mind your name. God of hosts, bring us back, let your face and us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Share up your mighty power, Lord, come to our name. The Lord has worked marvelous for us. Making all to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God, indeed, is my Savior. I am confident and I pray. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name, 
among the nations make known his deeds, proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord, which is joyous achievement. Let this be known throughout the whole earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us, making known to the ends of the world. Bring out their joy to God, God our strength. strength. Bring out their joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God, God of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the timbre, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet of the new moon, when the moon is full and our priest. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed this as a rule on Joseph. Then he went out against the land of Egypt. The voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called to distress, and I saved you. I answered the chill in the storm cloud. My father said to me, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would be. Let there be no foreign God among you who <coughs> worship the one who is in the Lord. I am the Lord your God who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their covenants of heart to follow their own society. Oh, that my people would be you, and that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue her foes, bear my hand against their enemies. The Lord in the enemies would change and their me, and their subjection will last forever. But Israel I would be my finest gift, and fill them with honey from the Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We bring out your joy to God, our Savior. Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, know your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God that you may be able to resist on the evil day, and having done everything, to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breast, breastplate, and your feet shut in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the word, sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To the end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with gladness, boldness, 
and mystery of the gospel for which I am ambassador of chains, so that I may have the courage to speak I must. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord, my God. O God, I will sing a new song to you with a, step, a ten string lyre. I will chant your praise. You will give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed is the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to those on whom His favor rests. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell the facts. Behold, I cast out demons and I perform healings today, and tomorrow and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times I yearned to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I invite you to spend some time to reflect on our videos today.
Blessed be God our Father who protects us, his children and never spurns their prayers and is humbly implored him. And lighten us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for enlightening us through your Son. We ask with his life to our name. Let your wisdom lead us to the Lord. That we walk in the new nations of life. May we be a hardship of it for your name's sake. And be generous in serving you. Direct our thoughts, feelings, and actions this day. And let us follow your provision and guidance. We ask you, Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray that my and your sacrifice will be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the prayers and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We give the heart to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our truth and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and in His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as you love and be at play. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory, O in the highest, blessed is you, come in the name of the Lord, O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift to pray. May send this down your spirit upon them in the two fall. So that is the time for us, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered really into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more gave thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection, and until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to the held as worthy to be your presence in his circuit. How do we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit? Let our glory of church spread throughout the world and bring us in the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, 
and the next one, I was sorry, at this trade tour, the clergy, the consecrated men and women, the leaders of Christian communities, are followed by their cabin this morning. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy that's all we pray. And in the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph and husband, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the saints who have done the will throughout the ages, who we merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With Jesus we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I give you my peace, I give you. Do plan our seeds with the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity and fortitude with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with the others. And with your spirit. In the office and the silence. Now, take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Now, God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Now, God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold, this is Jesus, the living bread. He is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, and happy are you invited to his Son. Lord, I am not the Lord Jesus, and I am the Lamb of my Lord. But I don't say the word in my soul, shall be.
Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and that forgive us our sins. Thus be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has established people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets he promised of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, we to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, that the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. We are sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, and what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Repatis ko na misa ako sa tapos sa lahat. May Father Bernard, Father Martin, at Father Bernard sa mga hindi na available ngayon, hindi na masaya. So have a good uh, day, the last day of October. Lord, do you do? And with you, the Spirit. We might even bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's been offered, go in peace to love and serve you. Thanks be to God. Los Armeli, Vitis Glory Vera, Splendor Cheli, Virgo Puerpera, Singularis, Maternitis, Servirgesia, Yeah.